Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden, and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today is hashtag Kathy Sewing Happiness, in which we'll have our drawing at the end of the video. But first, let's have our shout out to Michelle, Antoinette, Annie, Rita, Leben, Lori, Debbie, and Vicki. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm going to set this aside. I hope I have room right here on my desk. There we go. And we're going to make an accordion style tag holder with some of our playing cards. So grab your playing cards and let's get going. I have two digitals. I have this one and I have this one which is just a copy of a collage that I made. I just copy dyed the back of them so although that's not going to matter because we're not going to even show the back. So just taking my cards, I'm going to glue them onto the back of this page. Now, I am going to sew around the edges of mine when I get all finished here. But if you're not, you might want to just brush it up a little bit with a sanding block or possibly just apply a little gesso on here just so the glue will stick on as well as the paper. So now we're just adding some glue just like this, very simple, and I'm just going to lay it down onto my decorative paper that I have chosen, and I'm going to be doing four of them. So let's get all four laid down, just like that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay down this other one. Now that I have them glued on, I am going to just cut around the cards. Very simple thing to do. And I need to cut around all four of them. So I'm going to be doing that and then we will continue. So we get one, this one cut out. So it's going to look like that. And then I'll just do the other three and I'll come right back. All right, as you can see, I've got them all cut out. I'm going to bring in my other digital. And this one does kind of have an up and down, so I'm going to lay it this way. I'm going to take my playing cards right here. I'm going to do the exact same thing. And I'm going to apply my glue. Now, if you are not sewing yours, you're going to want to either take a little bit of a sanding block, even an emery board will work, and just rough up the, the paper because there's a, a waxy coating, or you can apply some gesso, whichever is easiest for you. But if, like me, you're going to be sewing yours, then you don't have to do that because the sewing will make sure that your paper stays in place. So just applying the glue, sticking it on, placing it on the back, and sticking it onto the paper of your choice, and then grabbing your scissors and just trimming them out. And then I'll be right back. All right, so as you can see, I have sewn around the edge of my playing cards. I have some very small little tags that I've put a little piece of sari silk here from Crimson Heart Studios and I've coffee dyed the back and inked them up. Now these are chapter one tags right here. I also have a piece of cotton that I have ironed and cut into approximately a half inch strip. And what I want to do, I'm just going to move these out of the way for just a second. What I want to do is I'm going to decide do I like my tags on this paper or do I like my tags on this paper right here. I am going to be adding this piece of cotton right here as a belly band. So I really think I like the lighter color. So I'm going to make this the side in which I'm going to be attaching my piece of cotton. I'm going to be setting these up 
So the right side up, in case you have picked something that has an upside and a downside, you want to make sure that they're facing the way you want. Also, just to add a little interest, I'm going to be opening up here my Stays On ink, and I'm going to be loading up my paragraph stamp here, and I want to just stamp my cotton piece just a little bit, just so it has some interesting, something interesting going on on my little belly band, and I thought, a few little words would be really nice. So I'm just adding them on, just simply like that. And I do need to bring in something to clean that up with, but I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Isn't that cool? I really like that. So let me clean this up. I'll be right back. All right, so now that I've got it all cleaned up and I've got it laid out in the order in which I want them, I think maybe I want it like that. So what I want to do is I'm actually going to place my card where it's on some lines in which I can judge where approximately the center is so I can be gluing this down in the center of my card using my lines to do that. And all I want to do is I'm going to be applying the glue on just the little bit on the edge right here. I'm not putting it all the way across because we're making a belly band. So I'm simply going to be adding a little bit of glue right here and then I'm going to be laying my material right down on it. Press it down. Now I'm using hot glue because it's quick, it's easy, and it's great for videos. But you can use whatever glue of, that you like. Whatever whatever you like to use on fabric and that's the perfect glue for you. I'm going to move it over right there so I can get this placed underneath it. Now I'm not butting it right up close to it. I'm leaving just a smidgen. <laughs> What's a smidgen? I don't know. Just a little bit, okay? I'm not putting it just right on top of it. Looking at it adding my glue right here, taking my material. I want it all to be evened up though. I don't want one of these cards to be higher than the other. I want them to be fairly straight across the top and the bottom. Doing the exact same thing right here on the edge and then just laying the fabric over Pulling the fabric a little bit so it's tight enough that it's going to be able to hold things underneath it. And then I've got two more to go. So simply laying it close but not so close that it's going to be a problem. Adding just a little bit of glue and simply pulling my fabric over pressing it down. Now I'm going to this card right here, the edge, a little glue, and lay this down, pulling it just a little bit. There we are. My very last one, get it down underneath, adding a little bit of glue to get it a little closer. This is probably the fussiest part about this whole project right here, doing this right here. And then I'm going to add a little bit of more glue right here. And my last bit right there. Now I didn't get enough glue right here, so I'm going to add just a little bit more. There we are. Now we've got that all covered. I'm going to go ahead and bring in my scissors, my little tiny scissors here, and I'm just going to snip the end right off, right up against the card. Okay, right against the card. Oh, looking good. Now I have cut some strips out of the same paper. I 
you could use different paper you could use the same paper actually you know what I think I'm going to change my mind I don't think I'm going to use the same paper I'm going to grab something else just just one second all right so I did switch the papers I think this is going to look better so what I want to do is this is a two inch by nine inch and I I'm not sure about the length yet until we measure it out here but it's definitely two inches across because what you want is you want it to fit inside this these belly bands that we have made all the way across here yes they fit inside so what I want to do is I'm actually looking at this because when I pull this up I want the words if there was a right and a wrong which there is on this one is there's the words right here so what I want to do is I want to take the end and I've got these two tips and I'm just folding them down we're going to make a fold out or a fold down maybe so we've got that like this then we're going to fold it about a half an inch we're going to take it on down a half an inch and what I mean by that is I want to take this point and this point and fold it a half an inch from the top okay so we look like this now because I've already inked up this paper just to save some time for us I do need to ink this as I go here and I'm just inking my folds and then I'm going to bring this up but before I crease it see that's a little long so what do we need we're going to alter the length of this we're going to alter it by about another inch so let's trim it right here and we can go ahead and say that this is now two inches by eight inches so I need to cut all of these two inches by eight inches I'm just using this as a template Make it a little easier mark it bring in my guillotine and just chop them hopefully I can chop them all at once just like this there we go all right so now I am going to glue and fold now that we know exactly how long they are I'm going to add some glue right here on those folded down corners press them down glue them down so we look like this now I'm going to bring this up just going to place it right up in there and give it a fold a crease taking my ink now if you don't ink you don't have to worry about that inking it up I am going to open it up and I'm going to ink the inside as well so now we have a little fold down that kind of looks like a faux envelope and I'm going to stick it right in here just like that the belly band is going to keep that flap down I'm going to add a little journaling card on top of that isn't that cute oh my goodness now I've got three more to make so let's make this one together now once again we decided now that it's about eight inches by two inches okay we're going to take the two ends right here we're going to fold them down to a point matching kind of the best you can that have to be super perfect this is a junk journal we don't have to do super perfect <laughs> And then we're going to fold this from this point right here we're going to fold it down about a half an inch you know something like that okay give it a crease then we're going to bring this right up inside up to the fold give it a crease and then if you are inking then you would need to go ahead and ink your creases just like this on the outside as well as the inside okay and then you're going to take your glue whatever glue you like to use and you're just going to glue down your little points that you fold it down so we've just made a little faux fold down and we're going to insert it just like that we're going to take one of our little tags I'm going to stick it in just like this oh my goodness this is looking super cute I'm going to finish the other two 
and then I'll be right back. All right, so now I've got all of my belly bands filled with a little tiny tag and a fold down that you can journal on. Every single one of them. So then what we're going to do to close this up and to make it a really cute piece of ephemera is we're simply going to fold it accordion style. Just like that. So let's do that again. So it's right like this. You're just going to fold it in, fold it back, and fold it in. So the front and the back have a cover, and then the inside is like this. Isn't that cool? That is so cute, right? I love these. All right, so then I have the piece of sorry that I've cut my little pieces out that I made little toppers for my tags. And all I'm simply going to do is I'm going to find it halfway here and then I'm going to tie a package just like this and then I'm going to tie a bow and of course you want your top to be you know at the top because we're going to add just a little bling of course guys we're going to add some bling so there isn't a whole lot of ephemera on this one I'm sure you could add a label if you wanted, but I think what I want to do is just add a little bit of bling right here. It looks just like a package. You know, when I was making this, I thought, I'm going to keep it small so you can add it into a junk journal if you wanted to. But wouldn't it be kind of cool if you made seven cards for a whole week and then you could journal a whole week in one of these little packages? I think that would be really cute. I have another one here. Look at this one. Now this is my same uh, collage paper. I just coffee dyed it. And so there it is. And you open it up. And this one looks just like this. And I've got these little tags that I got from digitalcollage.com. And then I made my little fold down out of this paper here. Just very simple. I used pink. I did my little stamping on my belly band. Once again, you fold it in, you fold it back, and you fold it in. And then we're just going to tie it just like we would if we were going to tie a package. And just tie a bow right here on the front, just like that. Oh my goodness, I think they're adorable. Let's get our drawing for Happy Mail. For helping me spread happiness, simple acts of kindness don't cost us anything. Letting someone in line of traffic, letting someone in line at the grocery store because you have 20 items and the person behind you only has one. We don't know what everyone's going through or anyone's going through, but sometimes just a simple act of kindness from one person to another will be all they need to just keep going. And that's what we need to do, you guys. We need to just keep going. Help me spread happiness. All you have to do is tell me your act of kindness in the comment section of the most recent half tag Kathy Sewing Happiness video. If you choose not to tell us your act of kindness, simply type in spreading happiness and that will be your entry. Don't forget to check back next Sunday because maybe your name will be pulled out of the fishbowl. Whose name is pulled out of the fishbowl this week? Now remember, I need your address. Check down below push the italic word more. It will pull the screen down and you will find out how you're going to get your address to me. And the winner is Victoria Tomlinson Mac. Victoria, you won happy mail from me to you as my way of paying it forward. Oh, you guys, I love this video. I love this project. If you agree and you love it too, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.